दोस्तों बहुत कम बार ऐसे होता है कि एक ही एक्टर की दो फिल्में बैक टू बैक रिलीज होती है लेकिन हमारी आज की जो मेहमान है जैकलीन फर्नांडिस उनकी बैंगिस्तान इस हफ्ते रिलीज हो रही है जिसमें उनका स्पेशल अपियरेंस है कुछ सीन्स हैं एक गाना भी है और अगले हफ्ते ऑफकोर्स फुल फ्लैज रोल वाली ब्रदर्स तो लेट्स वेलकम जैकलीन फर्नांडिस जैकलीन वेलकम टू ई टी सी ऐसे बहुत बड़ा को इंसिडेंस ही है दैट यू हैव टू बैक टू बैक रिलीज बहुत बड़ा को इंसिडेंस एक्चुअली वन आई हैड शॉट फॉर बैंगिस्तान दे आई थिंक हैड प्लान अ मच अर्लियर रिलीज ब्रदर्स दैट रिलीज ऑल्सो आई थिंक दे हैड announced it just at the time that Pakistan had announced theirs and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing this is a bad thing it's never happened to me before in my life yeah. but um yeah two like back to back hits like literally one week after the <laughs> <laughs> so it's double the nervousness or double the excitement <laughs> it's um i think double the excitement i usually never get nervous during a film's release yeah um I don't know why I I feel that you know you've you've done the best that you could and um you know you've uh, obviously learned enough and it's about learning and growing and then you know I'm I'm actually quite excited to see the final product so yeah I'm Were excited you like that in your school days and college days also you were never nervous at the time of examination or at the time the results were going to be announced yeah I think I was a little bit more nervous I think I've just gotten over it right now <laughs> <laughs> I used to always tell people, "Oh gosh, I haven't studied anything. I used to study everything." <laughs> and they're like, and "How good or bad a student were you?" Uh, I was very good. I was head girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 so much shock. <laughs> But um, yeah, I was good. I, I I enjoyed my studies. I took it very seriously. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it was. I don't know if it was even about being competitive. It's not even about that. It was just that you know I wanted to like always do like the best. But did you then think that you would be an actress someday? Uh, I've always wanted to be an actress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot of people used to tell me like, "Oh God, you're such a little actress." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but I mean, being a Sri Lankan growing up in Bahrain, uh, there was not much scope. at all you exactly. know to even think about mm. the prospect of being an actress mm-hmm. and or an actor or whatever because i mean either you you'd go to hollywood or you at least could should do theater and um in bahrain and even in sri lanka there was neither there was no industry for it exactly so i was kind of like you know feeling a little bit hopeless at one point in my little teenage life <laughs> <laughs> and um and you know and then i went and i kind of forgot about the idea i said okay let me just go and study and um let me at least try and uh, you know do stuff uh, on camera so um i went and i studied media and journalism i actually thought i'd i'd probably be a journo or I'd probably work for bbc or cnn and you know all for etc and you'd be here all for <laughs> etc <laughs> but um yeah and and it's it's funny because you know um i went back to sri lanka to kind of do uh, an internship over there and then things just kind of uh one thing led to another and i ended up in bollywood and i i never for once in my life thought that the final destination would, would be, be india bollywood. yeah it would be india at all so what would you have been if not for an actress i think as time went by like i've always considered myself to be very creative you know so you know i was um i was always good with art and i was always good with uh you know making something and like even like the small plays that we used to have in school like i i direct everything together and i'd put it all together and i'd be like okay guys we need to do this we need to do that i'd star in them of course <laughs> 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 but um so i i always felt that it would probably lead me to doing like i i thought maybe i'd have my own show or um you know i i'd probably go into documentaries make documentaries and stuff and explore travel travel is one of the biggest things for me you know um coming out of bahrain which is a very very small little island it mm. had at that time only 6 lakh people population oh. so it was like for me everything was about like i just want to travel i just want to travel like the first paycheck I, paycheck i ever got um modeling was when i was like 16 and i used that to pay for a ticket to london and i was like wow. i have to travel and my dad was like oh my god it's like this is strange but yeah so it was just stuff like that and i i i knew probably would be something to do with um you know television or something like that but um you know i i i thought acting was a bit far fetched as i was getting older yeah it's strange aapko kitna mushkil ho jata hai hindi bolna english mein zyada comfortable hu because we think in english because i think in english and uh, hindi is a second language and um itna um uh hindi uh, homework nahi karti hu <laughs> <laughs> to aapke dialogues jab 
शूटिंग करती है तो आपके डायलॉग्स ऑब्वियसली इंग्लिश में ही आते हैं नहीं हिंदी में हिंदी बट लिपि हिंदी या हिंदी हिंदी इन इंग्लिश रिटर्न इन इंग्लिश नहीं हिंदी पढ़ती हूँ लिखती हूँ और पढ़ती हूँ लेकिन बोलती नहीं <laughs> बोलती भी है इस शो पर तो बोलती हाँ, है बोलती <laughs> <laughs> तो तो बहुत टाइम लगता है हिंदी डायलॉग्स मग करने में हाँ मग करने में बहुत टाइम लगता है लेकिन जब मग करती हूँ ना तो आई कैन रिपीट इट लाइक अ रोबोट अगर हिंदी लाइंस जब मैं सेट पे हूँ और शूटिंग के दिन पे देती हूँ देते हैं तो बहुत कंफ्यूजन हो जाता है अच्छा मतलब आपको पहले मिलने चाहिए ताकि आप प्रिपेयर कर सकती आई हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट आई हैव टू वर्क विद इट आई हैव टू वर्क विद अ हिंदी डिक्शन आई कैन एक्चुअली देन प्ले अराउंड सो दैट्स एक्चुअली ईजियर इफ यू गिव इट टू मी ऑन दैट डे एंड आई लाइक लर्निंग 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 एंड देन आई हैव टू से इट then i lose out on everything else because i'm so caught up on learning it learning. and saying it right you know Correct. so that's where i kind of like falters so Sorry. You, you generally <laughs> prefer getting the dialogues uh, probably a day or two in advance um Listen. a lot more <laughs> no but a day or two it at least still works yeah. it's just that when i get it a lot more in advance i get to work with people on it mm-hmm. and the minute um uh, you know uh प्रिपेयर करती हूँ मतलब टीचर के साथ और डायरेक्टर के साथ सो आई गेट लॉप आर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी बिकॉज एंड आई थिंक एक्चुअली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फिल्म और फॉर एक्टर्स इन जनरल बिकॉज यू लर्न सो मच एंड आई लव द फैक्ट दैट वन यूर डूइंग वर्कशॉप सो मेनी थिंग्स कम अप यू नो लाइक ओह Why do we like do it like that? Why we do it like this? So mm-hmm. when you get on set, you're actually just having fun, mm-hmm. you know, and like you're you're prepared, you're confident, you know what's going on. Correct. It's when like you're thrown into the middle, you're like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, but I think more and more directors are actually warming up. Actors are also warming up to. Okay, guys, let's kind of before getting on set, let's know what we're doing. You know? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline, एक समय था जब young actresses कतराती थी, डरती थी कि मैं mother का role play नहीं करूँगी. लेकिन आपने ब्रदर्स में एक माँ की भूमिका निभाई है एक बच्ची है आपकी तो ये छह साल की यस छह साल की तो ये बात दिमाग में आई कि मुझे करना चाहिए नहीं करना चाहिए उलझन में थी यू वर इन टू माइंड मैं एक्चुअली बहुत शौक में थी क्योंकि मदर uh, रोल्स एक्चुअली कभी नहीं मुझे ही देते हैं और आई वॉज लाइक ओके समिंग मी मदर रोल इट वॉज इन नॉर्मल मदर रोल इट वॉज द मदर ऑफ अ चाइल्ड हु इज extremely ill and you know our family doesn't have enough money to pay for you know her treatment so it's a very very intense kind of like Sorry. role so i was like when i met karan i met uh, karan malhotra and johar in the office i said okay this is like wait a minute why are you guys asking me to do this role like i'm a little bit confused and you're asking karina to do the item song like what is going on here <laughs> like uh, some role reversal i don't know what's going on but um so uh, you know they they basically had said it's like it's it's extremely challenging and we, somehow you know like we we think that it would be interesting for you if you show your range in this movie um it's funny because i i i discussed it with salman okay and it was during the time of we, we were shooting kick i said listen it's really strange you know but like you know they they've offered me this like this movie and um i would never think in a, a thousand years that i'd be offered like a role like this and he said you have to do it be part of a big movie and he was like with a role like this he was like you can't go wrong so i was like i i i seriously i i, I was shocked that you know people were actually telling me to do it mm-hmm. and um yeah and so i mean but it was one of the best decisions for me you know um because it was uh, it's opened my eyes to so many things it was like for the first time in my life i'm not concentrating on the styling i'm not concentrating on my makeup i'm not concentrating on the concentra- dances I'm not con- there was no dance exactly i was like oh my god that's like a, it's like so re- such a relief mm-hmm. uh, there was no dance and like i was it it, it was an ex- amazing experience you know mm-hmm. like I actually have enough confidence now to to think about doing roles that might not be conventional you know sahi baat hai Jacqueline bahut baar aise hota hai ki bade banners bade filmmakers bade producers ya bade directors agar aapke paas aate hain you are hesitant to say no because aapko unki good books mein rehna hai to kabhi kabhi aise bhi hota hai ki let me not really get into their bad books or get onto the their wrong side and you know let's just do it This honestly had happened I mean I was I was very very scared to uh in the beginning in the beginning of your career uh i think you are a lot more afraid you know to say no or to upset people um you know and it it actually does cross your mind 
I was quite lucky that in the beginning of my career, I, um, you know, I, I've been able to do movies like, you know, Houseful and Race and, you know, things actually started following since then. But in the beginning, like, I was offered a lot of second lead roles, but for big movies and in big banners. And I was like, how do I say no? How do I say no? I can't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And um, I said no to a lot of, like, actually big, big directors and, and big producers. And I was like, they're never going to work with me again. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they came back to you? Yeah, they came back to you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> So, Kick in a way changed your life professionally? After Murder 2, things kind of started for me. Then a Houseful 2 happened, then a Race 2 happened, and things were slowly, slowly building up. Um, but I still feel I wasn't enough confidence in the industry about me. Hmm. And the minute Salman signed me for Kick, um, and I was, you know, the solo hero in, in his movie, uh, it, it opened up so many doors because people then were able to visually see me as that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of the times people wait for that opportunity so, before they sign you. Correct. You know, they, they want to see that you've proved it. Mm -hmm. And um, so Kick gave me the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then everything, everything changed. I mean, like in this past year, I've shot four movies, you know. It's exactly what I had you know, wished for, what I'd wanted, what I've always asked for being here, you know. Mm. I said, I never used to pray for anything else except please God, just keep me busy, yeah. <laughs> just keep me busy because I have, I've been used to sitting at home, you know, and I've been used to like saying, crap, I wish I, I could, I wish I did that movie, you know, and like I used to see all these other actresses doing back to back and working and, you know, like this one's working hard doing this and working, this one's working hard doing that. And I'm like, if I had the opportunity, like I would, I was like a bull raring to go, you know, mm -hmm. but it was just that they never came. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now like they're there, mm -hmm. um, like I know that uh, these opportunities will never come back again. You know, you've got to make the most out of them. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's like... But did, but, but did that lean period, so to say, professionally, um, did it make you bitter ever? You go through bitter days, yeah. Mm -hmm. You go, I mean, I went through days where I was like, I think I'm just going to go back to Sri Lanka or, you know, like, yeah, yeah, right before Murder 2, I was like, I'm going, I think I'll go back. And, you know, like, I never want to show my parents that ever. You know, like, you're always, that's the problem. Like, actors come with this thing where they're like, how do you go back? How do you go back? How do you go back? <laughs> now you come all the way here. You can't go back, you know. <laughs> um, and then what do you do? Mm -hmm. So... There were those days and you know where you're like and then like you would you would see like others doing really well and you're like gosh like what am I doing wrong like how do I how do I get around this you know I think what really helped me was uh, there were some good people in my life you mm -hmm. know I, even at that time mm -hmm. I remember a Malap you know who I'd worked with uh, in Jani Kaha Jani. Say, yeah. he's like you can't go are you mad don't do it don't do it don't go and um, you know I had uh, Ju from from Tips Tips. Huh? Saying no, no, no. It's like, are you? You know, I, I, I think you should stay. And he actually said, um, you know, they're they're making murder too, mm -hmm. and they're considering you, and you should do it. And both him and Malap were like, do it, do it. And I'm like, no, I can't do murder too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've just done Aladdin and Johnny Kaha say, I, I can't do murder too. And um, they said, hear it out. And I actually heard it out. And then I sat with Bhatsab and Mukesh sir, and then Mohit Suri at the time. And I said, cello, I mean, <laughs> at least I'll get an opening. <laughs> but but were you so down in the dumps ever that you used to cry and, you know, uh, call up your parents and uh, say that Never I don't... Never called up my parents. Never? I feel like if I outwardly show, um, you know, even others that, you know, I'm, I'm going through this and stuff, I feel like I'm reassuring myself that I'm going through a bad phase. And I don't even want to do that to myself. Okay. You know, I, I don't even want to, I don't want to put it out there. You know, so for me, it's like, okay, maybe I'm going through it. My, my mind registers it, okay? But um, it'll, I'll never show it because I don't want to believe it myself. Oh, that's a very nice uh, You've got quality, to because huh? I, I think the minute you put things out there, it's like, you know, like now you'll probably know that I went through that bad phase, okay? But like no one at that time really felt it. Also. They always felt, oh, she's this girl, very happy, very, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she's positive, she's in mind, you know? But like it was a rough patch. But I don't think you should ever, um, never, uh, you know, I think um, make it a realization, you know, maybe to yourself, but not to, to others. Not to the others. Because then you have to live with that, you know? Um, just get over it as soon as you change the thought and just, you know, move with it, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. But uh, during that lean phase, uh, is there anything you did which now, on hindsight, you feel you should not have done? Um, 
Well, I think maybe I, um, you know, it, it's it's funny, but like they say that, you know, uh, you've, you've got to be pushy, okay, in our industry because it's very competitive. Correct. And um, I was a little bit new, so I did not know even what pushy meant, you mm -hmm. know. So I used to let things go. I, I was I was I was awkward to do meetings, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, how can I? If they don't, don't want, ask for how work. if I don't? Yeah, I don't want to ask for work. Like they don't. If they don't want me, they don't want me, and I, I don't want to put them in an awkward situation. And uh, so I I used to you know practically like maybe I'd prefer to like kind of wait on things. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and what I realized, I mean, now is you can't wait for things to happen or mm -hmm. things to come to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to go out there and get them. Mm -hmm. And people might see it as being, you know, a little bit pushy or, you know, she's, she's this girl so ambitious, but that's what you want. Mm -hmm. And um, it's okay sometimes to ask for work mm -hmm. because it's your job, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, and I learned that along the time and I'm, I, I'm still very... Oh, I don't know. You know, it's funny because Sonam also is always like, Jackie, what are you doing? You know, like, <laughs> she's like, you know what? You're exactly like me, okay? Like, even I don't like it, you know? <laughs> but we've got to do it. It's our job. Let's do it. You know, like, that's, and she always encourages me. That's why I, I love that girl. But she always encourages me. Come on, call the director. Call him. Should I talk to him for you? Should I do this for you? I'll yeah, see. yeah. So she, she's, a, she's a great friend, you know, like, mm. not just from the industry, you know, and it's, it's something, it's, it's, it's more than that. You so know? that means this theory that uh, two heroines or two lead actresses can never be good friends in this film industry. You never have real friends. Uh, they're all superficial. That's not true. No, 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 no. I think I think you can actually find great friendships, but you need to be open to it. You know, because um, if you for a second hesitate or feel an insecurity, then you're missing out on it. You know, uh, and like, see, for me, like, I've I've opened up myself to um, a lot of like people from the industry because. I believe that we have a connection. Correct. I understand what it is to be an actress, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be there for you because I, I know what it's like to not have people there for you, true, you know. True. And you, you want... Uh, I know that um, there was a time that, okay, I didn't have work and I wish maybe people pushed for me and I, I wish people maybe recommended me because... Um, and, and that's why I would probably do the same for you. I know what you, you, you're probably going through. Um, and, and that's what it comes down to even with the friendships, you know. And I think Sonam is one of those people who you know, feels the same way. She understands that. And it's great because, uh, you know, she's, she's there for me. Uh, her family has welcomed me. And um, I, I think that shows the sign of a very strong person, you know. And you, you benefit so much more. You benefit so much more. The more you give, the more you get. Right. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> true. And Jacqueline, um, in this film, in Brothers, mm -hmm. um, playing a mother, it was the first time for you. Yes. Uh, any scene where you really felt it's so difficult, you know, uh, to bring that emotion out or something, some particular scene which was really, really demanding and difficult? Um, let me put it this way. <laughs> In Brothers, <laughs> every scene was a difficult scene. <laughs> like the amount of, even my dubbing was difficult because again, the glycerin at, I was like, Karen, again glycerin, like... <laughs> so you used to put glycerin in your eyes and then dub to get that feel. Every scene was... Uh, mm -hmm. An emotional scene, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was like <laughs> I used to dread dubbing. No, no more glycerin. I can't do this anymore. But um, so you had wished that it was a sync sound film, and you didn't need to dub. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It would have been. Oh, good. it would have been amazing. I mean, we got some scenes in sync. Okay. Um, but there were some things like you know, some something ruffles, or you get, uh, you, you know, yeah. yeah. So you have to go and in for a dub, and it's like it's it's excruciating. But um, I mean, that was a particular scene I think when uh, I realize you know um, uh, that my daughter has uh, you know cancer or oh, she, she I mean that my daughter is, is mm. unwell mm. and she needs to go in for surgery and it was like that scene where we're in the you know in the hospital and uh, that was like oh, my <laughs> like yeah it was it was tough because you know you, you have to you know I had to keep people on hold and I'm like wait a minute I, I need to get into this because you can't fake something like that you know Correct. obviously and you have to go through it and you have to feel yeah, it yeah you yeah. really do and and with a director like Karen Malhotra <laughs> um, you know glycerin is just not enough <laughs> 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 so it was like both me and Akshay Akshay used to uh, bet with me okay how many takes how many takes this time do you think <laughs> and I'm like I don't know two three and he's like Seven. Okay. <laughs> he was a great help. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, and Akshay is like a one-take guy. He'll finish his shot in one take perfectly. You know, get the emotion to it, and then Karan will be like, "Great, but one more." <laughs> and you're like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> so 
we used to, yeah, he, but he used to go on till we got the shot. And that's what I love about working with Karan. It was, you know, it will be your best that you can give, you know, and you can't doubt that, you know, yeah, it, no, it, it, you know, that much faith. He's got that quality, I think, to take out the best uh, Absolutely. from his artists. Yeah, and he won't stop till he's got the right shot. So it's good for us, you know. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Jacqueline, may you also never stop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Karan doesn't stop. It's great talking to you. Thank and you uh, so wish much. you the very best for this week as well as next week. Thank you so much. And two very so diametrically busy. opposite roles, I think. I know. Very, very different I'm from one another. I'm a bartender in Pakistan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, I wish I could be to a B girl now. Uh, B for brothers, B for Pakistan, yes, exactly. and B for back to back releases. Hi. <laughs> तो दोस्तों ये है जैकलीन फर्नांडिस इनकी फिल्म बैंगिस्तान इस शुक्रवार को रिलीज हो रही है और अगले हफ्ते यूल सी हर इन अ वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट रोल प्लेइंग अ मदर टू अ सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड डॉटर हु इज अनवेल वेरी वेरी अनवेल तो बहुत रेंज देखने को मिलेगा एंड हमें पूरा विश्वास है कि इस फिल्म के बाद यानी ब्रदर्स के बाद पीपल इन द इंडस्ट्री एज वेल एज अमंग्स द पब्लिक विल स्टार्ट सींग जैकलीन फर्नांडिस इन अ वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट लाइट एंड आपको एहसास हो जाएगा कि येस शी ऑल्सो हैज अ लॉट ऑफ रेंज दोस्तों आज के लिए बस इतना ही हमारी मुलाकात कल फिर होगी ई टी सी बॉलीवुड बिजनेस के एक और मजेदार एक्साइटिंग एजुकेटिव एपिसोड में इन द मीन टाइम आपके कोई सवाल कोई क्वेश्चन हो कोई सजेशन हो तो प्लीज डू राइट इन टू अर बॉलीवुड बिजनेस एट जी नेटवर्क डॉट कॉम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटिंग टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ सिनेमा तो उठाइए अपना मोबाइल फोन टाइप कीजिए बीबिस स्पेस छोड़िए टाइप कीजिए अपना पूरा सवाल स्पेस छोड़कर अपना नाम टाइप करके भेजिए फाइव सेवन फाइव सेवन फाइव पर यू कैन फॉलो ऑन ट्विटर एट ई टी सी बॉलीवुड दिस इज कोमल नहाटा बिरिंग यू गुड बाय